Welcome to Working Class Music. I'm Jason. I'm Tia. Tia today? Probably. Probably. Mostly. Today, we are going over one of my favorite pedals as of recently, the Chase Bliss Audio Mood. The Mood is a collaboration between three companies, so you kind of have a mix of everything. It's like three parents had a baby. Yeah, into one extremely awesome baby. <laughs> Admittedly, this has been one of my favorite things to mess around with. I'm kind of a bit nervous about doing a demo on this slash review, only because I think there's so many great reviews out there already, in particular Knobs. He has probably the best review on it, but we're gonna do our own thing on it. So Tia, this is your first time with it, which I kind of feel bad because I'm kind of tossing you like- Yeah, you're just throwing me right in the deep end. Yeah, I should have thrown you into the shallow water. Uh. <laughs> ah. uh. But we're just gonna have to set the mood for this Oh my god. <laughs> With that said, I think the question now becomes, who is this pedal for? And really, I can't recommend it as a certain type of pedal. I think if you're really creative and you like soundscape stuff and you like to explore different things, this is going to be the pedal for you. If you like to come up with different noises and textures and different riffs and seeing how you can take the guitar or any instrument in a different direction, this is the pedal for you. I don't think this is the pedal for someone who wants a looper per se. If you want a better looper, there's the blooper. To break it down. This pedal is the collaboration between three great companies, Chase Bliss Audio, Old Blood Noise, and Drollo Effects. Now, Old Blood Noise, they did the time bass section on it, which you have a reverb, delay, and a slip. The slip is personally my favorite. It kind of gives you this glitchy type sound. The Drollo side of it is an always listening micro looper. It's basically chopping up your sample at a certain point so you're never going to get the same sample played back. It's never going to play the same phrase twice and you have three different types that you can set it to. You can set it to stretch which kind of stretches the phrase if you will and chops it up that way. You have the tape which is an old tape recorder sound like you know as far as chopping it up goes and then you have an envelope. It's kind of weird. I, I don't know how to accurately describe that it's not like an envelope you mail out though, that's, that's for sure. But uh, it chops the phrase up in a weird way. I haven't put words to it just yet, but it's pretty interesting. Also in the center is gonna be your main control section. It's gonna control the sample rate and you can have the wet dry mix. So you can either increase the sample rate and get kind of like a higher pitch sound or you can decrease it or turn it the other way and get more so a lower octave sound. Oh, well, enough about the pedal. Let's hear how it sounds. And this is gonna be me playing around with some stuff. Also, what I'm gonna do as well, because seeing as though it's not, it's not a typical pedal, I am gonna use some other effects to kind of build and play around with it. In this section, you'll hear some other effects as well. Yeah. Yeah, the stretch is kind of my favorite. Just so you guys can hear what that does by itself, I'm gonna demo that. Yeah, that's that's just that effect by itself. I'm overwhelmed just looking at it. Yeah, can't tell. She's definitely overwhelmed. But you never whelmed. <laughs> the and I should say that. The, <laughs> 
I play bass now. It's a bass. This is stressing me out. <laughs> do with this. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. I, we're, there's a lot you're not gonna see because I wasn't happy with what I was doing. Um, this is a lot. This is definitely something that you cannot just spend like five or 10 minutes just kind of fooling around with and think that you have an understanding on how this works because no, <laughs> no. Admittedly, I did throw Tia into the deep end yeah, of this. Yeah. So like, here's the bus. And, and here's me just right underneath it because like I don't like this it sounds really cool this is a this is a fantastic pedal do not get me wrong it's just this is not something that you can just kind of like mess around with and think that you're gonna understand it it's like I need I need to read a manual like <laughs> fooling around and just kind of twisting and turning knobs there are some interesting sounds that came out of it but I don't understand what I'm what's happening so yeah just to put this short this is a very very cool pedal and I feel like I would like it a lot more if I had a better understanding about it because Hearing, hearing Jason play and like he's obviously familiar with it, he's very comfortable with it. I am I am not. It's a ton of fun. There's a lot of really cool sounds. Like he said, it's really great for building up soundscapes. So I could definitely see this being like a great pedal for like recording and playing live and just creating these very big, open, airy, interesting sounds. But just keep in mind, you're not gonna learn this in 10 minutes. Admittedly, I feel I feel bad. I feel like Tia's gonna get me for this. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm gonna bring a rainbow machine and just oh, be God. like, have fun. We'll even out the playing field, yeah, right? Yeah, we'll even it out because I've never played with a rainbow machine, so that would be another video. <laughs> so my takeaway from it, as I said earlier, this is my favorite pedal that I've gotten a hold of this year. The R1 is still my favorite reverb. However, this is my favorite pedal. Ever since uh, Chase Bliss sent this out to us, I've been playing it nonstop and I've been trying to figure out the ins and outs of it. And like Tia said, this is a pedal that you will have to sit down with. Like, I encourage you to read the manual because I kind of skimmed through it. I have an understanding of it and what it does, but I will admit that I need to read the whole thing. I think if you're someone like Ed O'Brien or Tycho, this pedal is for you. If you want to think outside of the box, this pedal is for you. I think it succeeds in doing what other gear is supposed to make you do, and that's make you more creative. And it makes you sit down 
and, it, and you have to think, but at the same time, you play while thinking if that makes sense. For me, it's the first Chase Bliss pedal that I've gotten to toy around with. After this, it won't be the last. So yeah, I love it. I will say this, buy this from Chase Bliss. Don't buy it on Reverb for like 600 bucks. That's just absurd. Help the vendors out. Help your favorite stores out. Help Chase Bliss out. Don't buy it from a scalper. Yeah, don't buy it from a scalper selling it for like 600 bucks. I'm sorry, like I, I understand. I'm probably gonna get like, we're probably gonna get a shit ton of negative comments about it, but I'm just being real. Like, I mean, money is money and it adds up. And I understand that, you know, scalpers see an opportunity, but at the same time, realistically speaking, if you can get a thing at a, at a better price or at the set price, just just go ahead and wait it out, honestly. And like, I know there's a little bit of a lead time on a lot of the Chase Bliss pedals, but trust me, buy it from them and it is worth that lead time. They're not paying me to say this. I really do feel like this is my favorite pedal that I've played in a very long time. And it's forced me to think in a whole different way in terms of creativity. And again, buy it from Chase Bliss, buy it from an authorized dealer, but for the love of God, do not give these scalpers money. So yeah, that's really all I have to say about this pedal. I'm a fan. This is definitely not going to be the last Chase Bliss pedal you see on my board. It's not going anywhere. Thanks for tuning in. Any other future recommendations, leave them in the comments. Yeah. If you guys have any pedals that you feel like we should check out and we can get a hold of, please let us know. I really do love the first impression slash someone's already played it dynamic between us. And in my opinion, that kind of gives you, the viewer, a really great idea of the pedal. So if you have any recommendations, please send them our way because we're doing our pedals of summer. All right. And thanks again. Later. Thank you.